Hello? Excuse me, we need some help here? Hello? Trover Phillips. Gail? G Gail Jenkins? Wow, uh, it, it, it's been a while. It sure has, Trover. You look nice with those new power babies in your eyes. Uh, yeah, thanks. W w what have you been up to, Gail? What does it look like I've been up to, Trover? I'm the head zookeeper of my own goddamn zoo. That's right, I'm keeping this zoo all by myself. And it's my fucking zoo. What have you been up to? Slumming it with a Cherorpion, I see. So what are you, Trover's new roommate? I'm talking to you, Cherorpion. Are you his new roommate? Yes or no? You know the system. Yes or no, are you his new room? Oh, well, good for you. You got off scot-free in that case. Cause this little son of a bitch will stick you with last month's rent, all the stains on the wall for the cleaning deposit, and a bunch of other things. It doesn't take five nails to hang one picture, Trover. Listen, Gail, we're just here to see the Crystal Babies. Oh, you want to see the Crystal Babies? Well, go by all means on your own little way and find them. I'm sure you couldn't help but notice that the gate to the Flesh Safari is closed. But I'm not going to help you, Trover. If you were any other one of my zoo guests, I'd give you a lift. But guess what? Fuck you. Now let me get back to what I was doing a second ago. I was counting papers. Thanks, Gail. Okay, partner, let's figure out how to get this fucking Flesh Safari door open. Jesus Christ, I can't believe it's fucking my old roommate, Gail. I mean, sure, yeah, I ditched out on some of the rent money, but the guy's fucking insane, I'm telling you. He used to come into my bedroom and just scream about lasagna for no reason. He was like in a trance, I couldn't even talk to him. This is not good, we gotta get these fucking crystal babies and get the fuck out of here. Man, I'm telling you, this guy's fucking insane. One time he threw a party, said all his best friends were gonna be there. I came out of my room and I talked to people. Nobody knew who he was. I don't know where he found these people. I got the fuck out of there. Oh god, one time Gail brought home a random baby. He didn't even know who it belonged to. Put it in the sink. I just took off. One time he claimed that the stock photos in his picture frames were people that he sued. He would leave notes everywhere. And they weren't even to me. They were to non-existent people about things that had happened in the apartment that didn't happen. When he gets really upset, he starts screaming about pizza nuggets. Which doesn't make any sense because his father was a pizza nugget. Oh, wait a minute, maybe, maybe there is a connection and that does make sense. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Instead of drinking his water, he used to eat it, if you know what I mean. And I'm not even talking about that he froze it and fucking chewed on it. I'm saying he would use a fork and a knife and eat water. Unfrozen liquid water. That's who we're dealing with here. He caught me rubbing my shingle on his pillow. And the guy never washed the pillow. You'd wash your pillow if you caught someone rubbing their shingle on it. The guy's nuts. I never once saw him use the bathroom. And I set up four cameras on the bathroom just to be 100% sure. Never went in there. His room, on the other hand, spent a lot of time in that room. And there were piles of green sludge in there. A lot of green sludge. Cut it out, Trover! You can't hit my little creatures! This isn't our old apartment where you can just fuck around and swing your sword around! Now I gotta get back to my taxes. You know, Gail, I gotta say, you sound a lot like one of these characters we met called the Abstainers. The Abstainers? Yeah. Oh, let's get our little grid graph paper out and figure out this mystery. Who? how could this be that I sound somewhat similar to one of the Abstainers? What mystery is afoot? I think it might be low budgets, crunching, and the fact that it's difficult to make a video game, Trover, and it's not easy to do creative endeavors when you have 10,000 different actors and you're rewriting the thing every 10 seconds, and it's still gonna turn out pretty shitty. So why don't you get the fuck out of my face, Trover? I'm trying to make a fucking video game here. He was obsessed with climbing trees in the buff. He used to whip his little winger, wingler out and climb trees. Who does that? All his clothes had zippers on them and then and you and he they kept getting caught on the door. All his clothes were made out of zippers and they would keep getting caught on the door and they'd zip off. And then he'd turn around and look at me like it wasn't his fault, but it was his fault. He did it on purpose. He used to make condom scented candles and sell them online to himself. He used to always have day terrors and those are a lot like night terrors, but they happen during the day and you're completely wide awake all the time. Day terrors, imagine those. He used to suck on doorknobs. He used to suck on the uncircumcised nipples in our apartment. We all had to use those. 
He's sucking on him, getting his spit all over him. It's fucking gross. I caught him paying a flock of birds to poison a man's mojito with cyanide. We gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta move, partner. We gotta hustle. Get this goddamn door open. What are we doing? I can hear you, Cherorpion and Trover. I'm busy doing my tax business. Get out of here. Let's just keep going. Let's just go. Why are we here right now? You wanna see if some something special's gonna happen? I swear to God, I'm not getting around. One time, I caught him trying to swallow his own head. We gotta get out of here, quick. We gotta move. Trevor, you talking shit about me right now? What? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. What? I, I, I wasn't. I didn't think so. I'm busy trying to crunch the numbers for my business, my zoo business. Okay, Gail. Huh, I wonder why this gate's locked. What's going on here? Fuck you, Trover. Leave the fucking gate alone. That's my new roommate's gate. Okay, Gail. I didn't know you were paying attention to us. Sorry. You got damn right I'm paying attention to you, Trover. Now back to my little zoo-keeping tax work I gotta deal with. So fuck you. What'd you say, Trover? What? Ga uh, Gail, I'm sorry, what? I may have done that, Trover, but... I had my reasons. Okay, Gail, I didn't know you could hear me. I'm sorry. It's all right, Trover. I'm going to be busy typing on my little machine typer. I'm trying to keep this zoo open. I'm trying to keep my business afloat. Hey, partner. Good work. Good work, Trover and Cherorpion. <laughs> opening my zoo park door and have fun and have a good time and I hope you find my crystal babies and get a good peep at them. This zoo isn't easy to open. Is isn't easy to keep open. I'm back to my taxes. Alright Gail, sorry. Let's go. Come on. We gotta move. <laughs>